Welcome everybody to On The Range. Today, we're gonna go over a speed and accuracy drill. Uh, this one is called the Blake drill. And unlike the last one, I don't put any spin on this. I kind of try and shoot it the way that it was designed to be shot. Uh, this drill, I'm sure many of you shot it. Uh, for those of you that don't, we have three targets sitting over here. Uh, you're gonna have them seven yards at the closest. You can space them out all the way out to 25. Uh, I've read and I've practiced that anything beyond 15 is not necessarily going to do you any benefit. Uh, the big part of this drill is being able to draw on your beep and engage the targets in a certain cadence. Uh, your standard build drill, you should be able to draw and crack six shots into your target within two seconds. This drill, ironically, two more targets, has the same part time of two seconds. You know, so uh, it's going to be a good drill. You know, this is one of those ones that you want to hit fast, but you want to hit accurate. Obviously, your A zone is where you really want to hit. Uh, so I'm going to demonstrate it. We're going to see how I do. Two point seven three was my time. I was almost a full second slower. Um, let's walk over here and have a look. Not too bad. I'm happy. They're all they're all a hits. Target one a. Target two. And obviously target three. Uh, for me, part time, I'm not too crazy about. Okay, I got to get this done in a certain period of time so quickly. Uh, I'm more worried about accuracy and then running like crazy after I've completed my shot in that array going to my next target. Uh, speed and accuracy, and I still have a love-hate relationship on this road to Grandmaster I'm on. So I'm not too terribly crazy about, you know, oh my goodness, I got to go so fast. So I'm going to reset these. We'll shoot it again. So obviously the big part of this drill, now that everything is reset, is if you notice on my first run, I didn't have a cadence to it at all. I would draw on target, I would fire two shots, move, fire two shots, move, fire two shots. In those two shots, they should have been equally spaced apart, uh, is technically you know how you want to do it. Uh, like I said, I'm not overly worried about part-time, I'm more worried about hits. This time, I'm going to do it. I'm going to swing transition from the first target, second target, last target. To really focus on the part of the drill and then I'm going to help it's going to help me determine what was wrong with that how I shot how I was holding the gun manipulating the gun we're going to see if I can get closer to that two second mark and then we're going to see my hits Not terrible, not the best, but not terrible. I know the cadence wasn't correct on that one either. I did not transition quick enough. Uh, I didn't sweep the targets either. A lot of the time what you find when you're shooting this drill is you're so fo focused on hitting the next target that you're just sweeping your shot. And when you sweep your shot, you can hit an Alpha Delta, Alpha Delta, or you know an Alpha Char or Alpha Mike, and then over here, your Alpha whatever. So you really have to focus on transitioning from that first target moving to your next swiftly and fluidly without dragging the shot too quickly. So we'll look at it. This one here, Alpha Charlie, really close Charlie, but close doesn't count. This one, it's the same way. First shot was an Alpha, second shot I went high. I pulled the shot too quick and I didn't manage my recoil. Third shot, that one's really close. That's an Alpha Charlie and that was a, another rushed shot. Uh, the time on that one was 2.14. A little bit quicker on time, but as you can see, at least for me, it affected my accuracy. So when you're shooting this drill, it's all about your fluid motion, how you're going to shoot it, how you're going to engage it. Learn what you're doing. I knew exactly what I did on this one. I rushed it because I wanted to hit that two second par time. I'm not upset with three seconds. You know, at the end of the day, you're shooting against your grandmaster, master shooters, A class shooters. A second can mean all the difference but I'm not out here trying to win a championship. I'm just out here trying to get better to get there. So I'm gonna reset it and we're gonna shoot it one more time. 
All right, guys, we're reset from the last one. Uh, this next one, final one, or this one that I'm going to do, I should say, uh, I'm going to focus more on A shots again. I'm going to try and stay under the three second mark with it, but I want to hit all alphas. Uh, let's give it a shot and see how we end up. That one was okay. I know on the last target I did, I swung too far, overdrove the gun into the final target. So let's go have a look and see how bad it was. Time on it was 3.05. First target, double alpha. Second target, double alpha. Third target, ooh, alpha delta. See, it happens. Uh, it's all about the mental part of it, you know? And we've discussed that in the last one. Uh, Sometimes it's hard, man. It's hard to get in there and it's hard to get the focus on and get it where you need to be. I felt the pressure. I wanted to try and hit that three second time since I had put myself on the timer. So I felt the pressure and the results showed. So we're gonna reset it, do it one more time. I'm gonna give you kind of a frontal area at me so you can see how I'm engaging. And uh, we'll be back in just a second. All right, after a quick reset, here we are. I'm gonna have you guys facing me on this one. Uh, Again, I'm going to try and go for broke. I'm going to try and hit that two-second mark. You guys see something I did in the video, uh, what I'm doing wrong with my hands, feel free. I mean, hit me up. I had a guy in the last series we did, the last video, he noticed there was a thing with my draw. I wasn't coming straight up out of my draw, so I was dragging and torquing on my holster, and it screwed up a draw, which is going to cost you time. So please feel free. If you see something that I'm doing, note it in the comments, and I'll try and improve it. Not terrible, but not the best either. Uh, I know I didn't drive the gun forward. My recoil was kind of crazy, I think. It felt like in my hand. Go back and watch the footage. But for a points day, that kind of time of 2.22, it's a little slower than my second one I did, but the hits were better. This one here, we got a perf hit. So that was gonna be an Alpha Delta, unfortunately. This one here is a Charlie Delta. That's not good, you can see I'm already starting the transition from this shot to this shot. So that dragging the gun instead of quick transition and stop and shoot, I didn't follow the rules on that and it's showing. Last one, obviously, double alpha. That one, these are pulled all the way hard left, more than likely because when I'm telling the gun to stop, the gun's still driving. So there's a lot to be learned from it. Uh, this drill is fun. Sometimes I'll get kind of crazy with it and I'll set everything out and then I'll engage them. I'll do a reload and then I'll engage them again or I'll just stand and shoot it like this. Um, these drills are good for you. You know, there's certain ways that you're supposed to shoot them and that's fine. Um, but I try and gear them more to what I'm trying to work on. In the last episode, you know, I got crucified because I wasn't shooting the build drill correctly. Uh, I do shoot the build drill correctly, but that particular drill, if you want to call it a build drill or not, that is the draw double tap that I try and focus on to get over the jitters of the first stage. You know, for me, it's all about the splits. I don't, I don't care about dropping a bunch of rounds into the paper. Um, shoot them as you want them. You know, as long as you're learning something and you're getting better, absolutely. So in this episode, again, I want to thank the City Shooting Park for allowing us to use their facility today. Without them, we wouldn't be able to come out here and put this on for you guys. And secondly, I want to thank Vault Apparel Company. Uh, mine is bigger than yours. This is one of the shirts on their site. Uh, if you want to get yours, hit them up, www.vaultapparelco.com. Drop one in your cart. And without that, we'll see you next time.